Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. First, I want to say thank you to all the people who have subscribed to my channel. And those of you who have subscribed and rang the bell, I see you and I appreciate the support. I'm talking about knowing your worth. What I mean by knowing your worth is when things get hard emotionally, mentally, how do you respond to it? How do you respond? Do you go into a deep, dark depression? Do you overeat? Or do you learn and grow from adverse experiences? Maybe one thing in our life is not working. Maybe it's more than one thing in our life is not working. And it causes depression-like symptoms, causes us to get down on ourselves. I recently came through a very rough patch in my life. It wasn't until I realized that, hey, I don't have to take this. I don't have to be here. And when I say be here, I don't necessarily mean in the physical sense. I mean, I don't have to be here in this mental place that is making me unhappy. This is where knowing your worth comes in. And in this video, I'm going to share ways for you to learn your self-worth. Let's get into it. One thing that helps me realize who I am when I begin to forget is having a strong core family unit. It really helps to have two loving parents, um, come from a loving family, all of that. However, that's not everybody's reality. So having a family member who you can depend on at varying times. So it might be this week, I'm heavily into my cousin, Teresa, because Teresa is helping me through something. Next week, I might call on my uncle Todd to help me with something. But just having family, who can take care of you when you need it. And again, does not have to always be the same family member. You can mix it up. Surround yourself with good, well-intentioned people. And you'll know who these people are. You know who the good ones are. You don't wanna have to look over your shoulder and wonder, can I trust this person? Is this person looking out for my best interest? Really look at people and look at how they make you feel about yourself. Do they make you feel bad about yourself? Do they lift you up when you're feeling down? Those are the people you want around, the people who build you up, not the people who tear you down. The next thing that can help remind you of your worth when need be are, of course, your friends. Some people feel like they don't need friends um, they don't have any friends. And I don't believe that's true. I think everybody has at least one friend. You know, there's a saying that no man is an island. We all depend on each other in some way. A friend is someone who knows you, someone who you can entrust with intimate details of your life. Of course, everyone isn't your friend, but it helps to have that one who's gonna tell you the truth when you need to hear it. And you will listen because you know that this person knows you, you know that this person is looking out for your best interests. And we have to also remember that people are not perfect and people make mistakes. Ultimately, when we are searching for our self-worth and going to family, we're going to friends. However, we also have to remember to turn inward and be able to find that self-worth from inside of you. And here's how to do that. Know your strengths. What are you good at? Everyone has some kind of talent. You might be funny. You might be stylish. You might be an animal lover. And you know a lot about animals. Everybody has talents. Immerse yourself in your talent. If you don't know what that talent is, 
your friends and family can help you find it. Once you find it, that's something that you can always fall back on, always draw from. In the spirit of knowing your strengths, it's also good to know what your weaknesses are and those areas that you need to work on. We all have negatives about ourselves and it's important to see the truth for what it is so that you can proceed. These are things that you can work on, not work on, just know what they are and hopefully use resources available to you to help strengthen you, strengthen your strengths and strengthen your weaknesses. The next thing that we can draw from inwardly is what are you passionate about? What are your passions? Put your energy, put your thoughts into your passions. What problems would you like to solve? Pursue whatever that passion is, even if it's just a temporary pursuit. If it's if you're passionate about boats, do some boat research. Life happens, of course, and we can't always see things through, but take that first step and you never know where it might lead. Another thing we can do inwardly to help us know our worth is being aware of what our blessings are and look around and see the things that are in your life for the good, things that make you smile. Another thing to help us know our worth is trying new things and being willing to try new things. You know, maybe do something different than what you would normally do. Break bad habits, start new habits. And maybe you get on social media too much, maybe social media got you down. Do something different with your time. Add regular exercise into your regimen. Finally, on your quest to knowing your self-worth is to know that you have to make your own decisions. We find ourselves in emotionally distressing situations and only we have the power to respond. Knowing your self-worth will help guide your response. So that's all I want to say about that. Hopefully it made sense. Thank you for watching.